hey guys and welcome to this video in this video we'll be discussing top down analysis how you can use it to frame bias and also as a profitable trading strategy so without further ado let's get right into it coming over to this pdf right here we're going to be going over the process for this top down analysis approach if you want this particular pdf the link is going to be in the description so the approach for this particular top down analysis is going to be as follows we're going to go from monthly weekly to daily time frames then downwards to our preferred time frame if one step of the process is unclear we move on to the next as the next would make the previous one clearer or obvious a narrative should be viewed from a broader perspective for better framing of context and drawn liquidity and current perspective for better framing of setups so that means we're going to be looking at narrative from a two-way perspective and you're going to see what i mean analyze and reassess a time frame only after a candle close so in other words we are only going to be interested in a time frame only when a candle has closed so in other words if we're trading um the weekly we are only going to want to analyze the weekly time frame only when we've experienced a candle close if the candle is still active on the weekly time frame we don't want to analyze that particular time frame same goes for the daily same goes for the monthly also the four hours the last but not the least objective should be to catch weekly daily monthly or session expansion so these are the following approach we're going to take using this particular top down analysis so the first part of the analysis we're going to be looking at is the draw on liquidity so we're going to be focused on just these two parts for drawing liquidity which is liquidity itself which is swing high swing low previous high or previous low equal highs and equal lows and the next is going to be imbalance either fair value gaps or liquidity void after we've identified the drawn liquidity the next we're going to be looking at is framing our context in order of where we're going to be trading from what's going to be our point of origin leading to the draw on liquidity so for the point of origin which i call poo we're going to be looking at the swing high and swing low institutional swing points which will be mitigation or breakout block and imbalance fair value gap or liquidity void order block previous high and low previous candle open or close or rejection block c so these are going to be what we're going to use to frame our context that's going to lead us to our drawn liquidity so now here is narrative so narrative is simply the story of price action what story is price action telling us and while we're going to be able to identify that it's going to be market structure and institutional order flow you can see right here in this context of narrative market structure precedes institutional order flow and this is where we also apply our premium and discount ideas we're going to use this narrative in two ways just like we explained it in the approach earlier we're going to look at it from the broader perspective in other words while we're on the monthly on the higher time frame we're going to look at higher narrative on the higher time frame then while we're about to frame our setups in other words when we've identified drawn liquidity and context are still going to still apply this particular narrative so you're going to still see what i mean when i start going through the analysis next you want to be focused on price delivery as you can see i wrote right here on the bottom trading is simply and all about price delivery the moment you get this and it clicks in your head it becomes a game changer for you so a model that will deliver price from context to draw on liquidity is what you want to be focused on and that's going to be the market maker model either the buy or the sell or it's going to be the price delivery mechanism which is going to be the amdx or xamd it's still the same flow of the market maker model but i like to separate them as they help me approach them in different lights the last but not the least is going to be the entry confirmation so this is where we validate our setup before clicking the buy or the sell we want to see a pdra to frame our context and that's going to be either a liquidity or an imbalance now we want this context to align with time and also a candlestick pattern or candlestick confirmation and this candlestick confirmation is going to be a wm or tweezer pattern don't worry i'm going to show you what i mean by that and you are going to see for yourself so most of times you guys have heard me use on this particular channel reaction in price 
all I'm referring to is this candlestick confirmation pattern and they form at key areas in price and you're going to see for yourself what I'm actually referring to so without further ado let's get right into the chat so right here on the monthly time frame on euro usd the first thing we're going to be looking at is what is the narrative so this is how we apply the narrative from a broader perspective so since narrative is simply market structure and institutional order flow we're going to be looking at what's the market structure on the time frame we're looking at currently and we can see right here the um price prior to this particular high did not take out any high right here but before this particular swing glue was formed there was a low here and a low here so you can say the market structure was bearish right here and price retrace within this dealing range from this high to this particular low right here so that could be what we see as the narrative but since this is the monthly time frame the market structure won't do us entirely good why because it takes up to a month for one particular candle to form so but it's also good that we also have an idea of what the structure looks like on the higher time frame now we've already identified we already have a picture of what the structure kind of look like but not every time we're going to be able to see that you get what i'm trying to say not every time we're going to be able to um, identify it clearly like this you get but it's just always good to identify it from a broader perspective the next thing we're going to be looking at now which is going to be the next approach is the draw on liquidity like we have on the pdf and based on the draw on liquidity we are looking at two things which is either a liquidity or an imbalance and based on current price action here we have a swing low and we can see that on this particular candle we have a weak rejection since trading is all about price delivery this weak rejection should be coming from somewhere and where is that place the main threshold of this particular bearish order block right here so this is the context all the way from the monthly time frame so this is the context right here and this is the drawn liquidity so price traded into this context right here and price rejected trying to get to this particular draw liquidity which is a swing low right here so what we're going to do right now is drop down to the weekly time frame since now we've already arrived at something on the monthly time frame we've transposed all we've arrived at from the monthly time frame so we're going to still apply narrative from a broader perspective which is understanding what market structure and institutional that flow is actually doing on the weekly time frame right here we can see that from this particular high to this particular low right here we took out this particular low right here so we can see a structure shift here and price retrace right here so we can literally assume that we are kind of a bearish trend within this segment of price action right here on the weekly time frame so the narrative from a broader perspective is becoming much more clearer we can go on to identify the draw on liquidity on the weekly time frame and the context we can see the monthly time frame context aligns clearly with the swing low on the weekly time frame so we're not going to be looking for draw liquidity anymore on the weekly time frame we're just going to be using the one we've arrived at from the monthly and right here we can see that the context we arrived at from the monthly time frame which is that main threshold of the order block we can see our price straight to it and it's moving away from it clearly and if we can look clearly to the right side of the chart we can see a fair value gap just formed here so this is an imbalance price is trading away from the monthly time frame context trying to push for this draw on liquidity right here so if price is going to retrace it has to retrace to also an area of context because trading is all about price delivery so on the weekly time frame we've already identified a context now which is this particular fair value gap right here so let's drop down to the daily time frame and see more story in price action now right here on the daily time frame because of we arrive at a better broader perspective of narrative from the weekly time frame we're going to actually ignore that here on this particular time frame and actually focus on the other process of the top down analysis which is going to be draw on liquidity context and narrative for setup so there are two kind of narrative especially for those of you wondering there's narrative for a broader perspective which helps us to frame our draw on liquidity and context properly and there is narrative for a setup which helps us to identify our setups so the broader perspective narrative is telling us we are in a bearish move so right here we can see that price has pushed down and this is the fair value gap we arrived at from the weekly time frame 
and we can still see that this particular drawn liquidity from the monthly weekly and also right here on the daily time frame still aligned so it's very very much obvious which is a swing low right here so right here on the daily time frame let's see how price react into any of these particular areas outlined in price so let's see what price does so right here we can see our price trade into this particular weekly fair value gap right here which is also a daily time frame swing high and that happened after price traded into this particular inversion fair value gap right here so i'm not going to outline that because of i don't want the charts to be cloggy since we have a reaction from this particular level here becomes our context from the daily time frame and here becomes a drawn liquidity which is a fair value gap and imbalance so we want to see our price will move from this particular area in price to fill in this particular area in price also reaching for this particular order block right here so now let's drop down to the hourly time frame so right here here now we are on the hourly time frame and we can see our price moved into this particular weekly fair value gap which is also a daily time frame swing high right here and you can see the way it moved away from it so this is where um you want to be looking at price while it is printing because right here i can see that our entry confirmation has already happened so i said the entry confirmation is a w pattern m pattern or a tweezer pattern so right here we can see that we already have a m pattern formed right here so this is what i mean by m pattern right here so it's also known as a market structure shift like I like calling it, but it makes it more easier by calling it a M or W pattern because it just makes it makes more sense and easy to approach. So right here, you can see that Y price traded into this particular level in price. You can see it gave us this market structure shift, which is an M pattern. So you would have framed your entry from this area right here and Y aiming into this particular drawn liquidity of the daily time frame. The drawn liquidity right here, we can see within this particular fair value gap is going to be this gaps in price here so this is going to be the one hour perspective so i want to see how price will reach into this particular gap right here within this particular daily time frame gap so since price has already printed yeah we're going to wait to see what price does and right there we can see that we have a tweezer pattern right here so this right here is what i call it tweezer pattern is a four candle formation where you have a large candle that encloses the other candle it makes it look like an order block but going down to the fourth candle you're going to see the down close candle you're going to see it within the series of candles so it's more like a consolidation to an expansion so this is why i call it tweezer pattern right here so we can see it move into a fair value gap and give us a tweezer pattern before moving into this particular daily time frame fair value gap but this particular tweezer pattern did not align with time so we're actually not going to engage it we're going to wait for it to align with time so when we talk about time we're talking about either the London session or the New York session because the pair we're looking at is the Euro USD. So let's see what price does. So right here I actually outlined time which is the London session and coming to the London session we can see price take out this particular high right here. Good. Giving us a tweezer pattern. So this is a rejection candle right here. And right here we have a tweezer pattern is a four candle formation right here so it's usually formed at swing point areas that's turning points in the marketplace that's why you see this particular candlestick pattern it's just adding an extra confirmation to give you more confidence behind your setups i'm going to discuss about this particular pattern going forward in this channel but yeah i'm bringing forth the ideas and i'm making it very obvious for your eyes to see so now we can confidently go into frame our setups so here we frame our setups putting our stop loss just above this particular fair value gap high right here because we can see price came here run this high and filled in this particular fair value gap right there so let's see what price does and there we have it so we can sell price move straight on giving us a one to two risk to reward just using this particular process from a top-down perspective so going forward in price let's see what price does so we can see how price reversed from this particular area right here and started pushing all the way to the buy side so right here we've moved back to the higher time frame on the daily so we don't get lost on the lower time frame trying to catch tiny moves so right now we can see that how we moved from this particular weekly fair value gap right here into this particular daily time frame fair value gap so now we're returning back to our monthly perspective which is aiming for this particular monthly swing low right here we can see that we have an area right here which is a swing high 
So let's see what price does. And there we have it. So you can see how price has moved into that particular high and giving us a good reaction right there. Because you, mind you, we arrived at the overall narrative from the weekly time frame that we are in a bearish move. It is likely that we should expect this to happen. So now we can see that we have a good reaction right there and going down lower we don't have any form of imbalance like we had before that's going to hold up price we can now confidently go into the hourly time frame or the four hours to actually frame our setups aiming for this particular monthly time frame draw on liquidity but before we do let's also outline all the potential draw on liquidity we can see here on the daily time frame as that will help us take partials along the way right now you can see i cleared up the chart we've outlined this swing low this other block and also this particular swing low right here on the daily time frame just before we get to this particular monthly time frame objective right here so now we drop down to the four hours to see what price is actually doing and just as price has traded into that particular daily time frame swing high you can see we have a tweezer pattern the four candle pattern one two three and four but if you can't see that as a tweezer pattern you can also see that it's also an m pattern you can see our price move up came down move higher and came down giving us a break of structure right there so this is a market structure shift just within that time zone so now we want to also align it with time to see if it aligns with the kind of objective we want to take in price so since this is a four hours time will not really be of so much essence but for further confirmation in line with the strategy let's just drill down to the hourly time frame and include time but if you are actually a swing trader you can actually take this particular setup from here so as we can see right here on the hourly time frame you can see that price is not within the time elements though we've seen this particular reaction in price right here as here is the london session and right here is still the new york session so we're going to wait to see what price is going to do within the london or the new york session but right here we can see that we have a break of structure right here confirming that our setup narrative is actually bearish aligning with the narrative we arrive from the broader perspective which is bearish also from the weekly time frame and also the rejection candle we can see all the way from the daily time frame this particular break of structure we can see clearly on the hourly time frame now confirms that the setup narrative is actually bearish so i believe that is actually starting to make more sense to us so based on price delivery right here also we can see we have a consolidation right here a manipulation right here so what we'll be waiting for is a distribution so this is a m so we're waiting for d we're using the amdx price delivery so we see accumulation manipulation right here so what we'll be waiting for is the distribution to the sell side so let's see what price does so right here coming into this particular um, new york session right here we can see our price trade deeper into this particular fair value gap right here and giving us a good reaction in price right here so this is a bearish order block right here but based on our price delivery which is our amdx we can see that we have accumulation we have manipulation and since we're expecting distribution this is an indication that price may be selling anytime soon so for more confirmation let's see our 15 minutes time frame to give us more clarity in terms of the candlestick pattern but if you really um do not buy idea into the candlestick pattern you can actually enter on this particular order block right here but i would like to see what the 15 minutes is saying so let's look at it and right here we can see that we have a price move up move down move up and move down so here is an m pattern or you can just combine it together and call it a tweezer pattern but in total formality we can see that we have our candlestick pattern right there aligned with time and also within a context which is a fair value gap right there so you can go in confidently and start framing our setups so we're going to go back to the one hour so that we can see things much more clearly and aim for our draw liquidity we've outlined on the daily time frame and also the monthly time frame so right here we framed our first setup which is our entry here from our confirmation pattern which we confirmed also from the 15 minutes we put our stop loss just at the end point of this particular fair value gap so in case price want to retrace to fill this fair value gap completely will still be safe on our trade we're aiming for our first area of targets which is the daily time frame swing low and ultimately we will be aiming for this particular order block right here i'm going lower we have more areas of target right there but let's see what price does 
you can see how the first push of price price took out this swing low right here all the way from the daily time frame attacking also the other block right here so we can see first area and second target area met so let's see if price is going to push for this second swing low right here mind you the main drawn liquidity we are looking out for is the one from the monthly time frame so let's see if price is going to also still push for this daily time frame swing low so for those of you wondering this is the swing low right here on from the daily time frame we identified and this is the monthly time frame um swing low right here so let's see if price is going to push further for this one and ultimately take out this particular monthly time frame swing low so let's see what price does and there you have it so you can see how price has taken out this daily time frame swing low right here so at this point if you actually catch from this particular area it's enough for you to call it quit because this is just enough this more than enough this is actually a one to six risk to reward right here using the top down analysis but just for completeness sake let's see if price actually gets to this particular draw on liquidity and there you have it so you can see how price traded all the way into that particular draw on liquidity on the monthly time frame and pushed even aggressively past it and this whole entire move from here all the way to here is actually a one to 7.5 risk to reward so you can see how using this particular top-down analysis approach can actually help you frame high reward and high win rates setups so i hope you find value in today's video if you do hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you have your thoughts you can leave them in the comment section if you have questions you can also ask i believe i did justice to this particular top-down analysis approach and i'm also going to see keep on making videos on this particular approach to further drive this particular idea home so this is just a first series of it a beginning series of this particular top-down analysis approach so i'm still going to be making more series on this right here so if you want to be seeing more of the series i want you to type more in the comment section until next time see you in more videos